forgot to do my electronics checklist. I need er to add that to the checklist. Electronics checklist? What do you mean? <laughs> well, turn on the GoPro. Oh. All right, what are we doing first? What kind of takeoff do you want? Uh, let's do a short field takeoff. Well, actually, no, because we did short fields last time. If you want, let's, we can do a soft field takeoff. Okay, soft field. Okay, so what are the steps to a soft field takeoff? Flaps 25. Okay, let's go ahead and put a bit. And then we don't want to stop, but I'm going to stop. Oh, yeah, we're going to stop in front of the hold short line, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, and we're going to roll, and we're going to continue to roll, no brakes. And we're going to be pulling back constantly on the yoke as we come up. Georgetown ground, Archer, November 2112, November. Okay. As we, come up, as we come up, we get we'll into ground run effect. Up and we have so I would like to get VY, but somewhere between the X and uh, Yeah, and I'm going to have you basically stay down until we get to around to 75. Basically, you're going to stay in ground effect until I stay otherwise. Okay. That's what we're going to do for this first one. Then I'll climb up. Yep, 12 November. Zero Mike Foxhot, where would you like to park? Uh, I'd like to go to the fuel pumps. Zero Mike Foxhot, turn left, runway 1-1, one, one, Lima Foxhot to the pumps, monitor ground. 1-1, one, one, Lima Foxhot, monitor to ground, zero Mike Foxhot. Short Town Tower, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 18. Check 82554, Dirt Town Tower, hold short, runway 18. Holding short, runway 18554. Didn't see him because of the clouds. Yeah, it's easy there. Okay, so we've gone over soft field uh, takeoff. Let's go over short field landing. What are you doing for short field landing? Short field landing, coming yep. in full flaps. I'm going to try and get into ground effect. You said somewhere around here. Yep. That carries me all the way to the 1,000 footers. And then I'm going to try and get the thing to stall out around the 1,000 footers. Yep, and you're going to be using just a little bit of power just to barely keep you up. And I'm going to take the flaps out and pull back on the yoke to slow down. Yep. We're doing a soft field takeoff and a short field landing. Yep. All right. Short Town Tower, 344 Delta Golf, uh, crossing Sulu inbound. And uh, whenever we do call eight. midfield, we'll be calling for a landing taxi band. 344 Delta Golf, 344 Delta Golf. That'll work too. All right, Private Tango, Juliet Alpha, runway 18. Juliet Alpha, runway 18, Private Tango. Eric 554, fly left traffic, report midfield with request runway 18, curve takeoff. Left traffic, reporting midfield, uh, 82554, clear for takeoff. All right, let's do this. Yep. There you go, crossing this whole short line, we are assuming that everything past this it's is, soft. uh, yep. So just keep us barely, just keep us moving. Yep. We don't need to go fast or anything like that, just little brakes. Yep, no brakes. Now remember, if you can't see the one way, your nose is too high. Okay. There we go, good, good, good. All the way. Good, you can feel that nose already getting lighter. Yep. That's exactly what we want. There we go, now relax. Yep. Use that water still, maintain center line. Yep. Plane's about to come up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. All right, right now, nose down, nose down. Yep. Stay in ground effect. Yep. So right here, keep it down. Okay. Stay in ground effect. Stay yep. in ground effect. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Now right. we can climb out. Okay. So see how that we did have that transition toward the end where we were kind yeah. of just nose down? Right. We almost got up to 80 knots. And that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay. Okay, so I want you to feel comfortable doing that. Because even then, toward the end, I could feel you kind of yeah, pulling was, back a little bit. Yeah, I was bit. a little nervous. I didn't want to pitch it into the ground. I know, I know. But you need to get comfortable with that kind of situation because it's that rotation that, that that's the tricky part to the soft field once you get that rest of it's easy okay what, what else do we need to do
Do a gump check. Gas, I gotta set this on the taxi back. Gas okay. full of tank, undercarriage down, fuel mixture, and fuel pump. Georgetown Tower, Archer 82554, left midfield for full stop taxi back. Turkey 554, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 18, 8254. Georgetown Tower, Tomahawk 9451 Tango, holding short of 18 at Alpha, ready for departure. Tomahawk 51 Tango, Cherokee traffic approaching left face for landing. Fly left tower, report midfield, runway 18, clear for takeoff. 1 8, clear for takeoff, report missile left downwind, left traffic, 5 1 tango. Okay, so this time I want you to enter ground effect around the numbers. Okay. And, uh, Force down tower, series 344 four, Delta Golf, bases. I'll be forcing you to kill your power much earlier than you have been before. Okay. Force down tower, Archer 81891, holding short 18. Tower, Archer 9031 Golf is at 4,000 feet, uh, approaching Axe Club for the RNAV for runway 18. Archer 9031 Golf, George Center Tower, report a final approach fix inbound, now number 3010. 3010, we'll report final approach fix, 31 uh, Golf. Okay, so we're entering ground effect right about the number. Let's go ahead and take back the power and just let it float. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yep. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Now we can let it down. Flaps out, flaps out. Flaps out, back yep. pressure and simulated break-in, and let's see if we can make Juliet. Can I use brakes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like you can see that... Uh, 3554, turn left, taxiway, Juliet, contact ground. Left on Juliet, contacting ground, A2554. So you see that when we actually do use brakes, we're going to be able to do that. 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 we Torch on ground, Archer 82554, clear of runway 18 at Juliet. Would like to taxi back to 18. Archer 82554, um, Torch on ground, Roger, taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha to 18, 82554. Tom Lock 62, Charlie, Squawk 0613. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing again. Um, basically, a uh, soft field takeoff followed by a full stop uh, or short field landing. Again, taxi back. Okay. Um, we're going to do kind of the same thing we did on the soft field. Uh, we're going to do the same thing as we did last time this time. So basically, we're going to stay in ground effect all the way until basically VY and then go out. And I want you to maintain ground effect. Like, don't be super afraid. You know, you're going to have to force yourself to actually do it. Okay. Anything.
How close should I get to him? Um, I'd say this is fine. I mean, the big right. thing is we're not in his crop wash. We're not going to be anywhere near his crop wash. Yeah. But, you know, in case, uh, you know, we lose brakes or something like that, we can still have time. I mean, that's like an extreme situation, but still. Right. Georgetown Ground, Series 344, Delta Golf on uh, 2 9 -er going to Genesis, holding short of 1. Series 344, Delta Golf, Georgetown uh, Ground, Major, hold short of runway 1 8. Hold short of 1 8 for Delta Golf. How many of your uh, tomahawks do you guys have back now? Uh, just the two. You got a lot of archers now, huh? Yeah. It went from like no archers to a lot. Yeah, because what we've got, what is it six warriors and archers now? Something like that, yeah. There's four Delta Golf, cross runway 18, turn right at Juliet for parking. Yeah, it's six, and we've got the one that's still down. Uh, yeah, because 954 is still two down. 2112 November, Georgetown Tire. Tomahawk over to Fire Trans, flying left traffic. Proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1812 November. Yeah, because we've got five archers in total, but four working, and we got the two warriors. Pressure's changed a lot. 30 chains like, uh, is that 40 feet? Yeah. Torch on tower, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 18. Turkey 554, fall left, try report midfield, runway 18, clear for takeoff, departing Cherokee's eastbound. Clear for takeoff, left traffic, 82554. Yeah, look at your altimeter. See, it's showing uh, 850 now. Yeah, because even when you add the one that's uh, what we took off with, in the short amount of time we've taken off, it's gone from... Uh, well, just under 700, or I think, no, that one was just above 700 to 750. Georgetown Tower, Tomahawk 2462 Charlie, holding short at runway 18 via Alpha. There we go. There we go. Keep the nose right up. Tomahawk 2462 Charlie, follow the chair, getting a pattern, fly left, tower report midfield, with request runway 18, clear for takeoff. Let it up, let it up. Let it up. Um, follow window Cherokee on runway 18, uh, clear to there take off. Keep it in ground effect. Um, keep it in ground effect. Uh, there we go. Uh, right, climb out. right turn. 6 to Charlie. Mark 6 to Charlie, fly left traffic. Yep. Uh, fly in left traffic, uh, 6 to Charlie. Thank you. Good, good, good. That's what I want to see. Tower, top high, top high, now, one tango, but field every other time we do that, we're going to climb out at around uh, VX. Five, five, one, tango, so basically one, around eight, uh, 65. Go. That's where we're going to basically go around. Clear touch and go, 5 one tango. Okay, I like it though. That's that's what I want to see. I like that a lot. You want me to climb out at VX? When? Well, um, yes and no. I want you to basically get out of ground effect at around VX now. Oh, okay, all right. And uh, I want you. To, you can climb out at either VY or VX. For right now, I'm going to have you climb out at VX just because. Okay. 
used to that steep climb. Yeah. I think we've had this conversation. If uh, the examiner tells you to do it with an obstacle, you'll do it with an obstacle. If not, then you'll just do it normal, BY. So, so he, he could knock off two takeoffs in one, basically. No, 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 he couldn't. No? No. You, it, it's two separate techniques, so you got to do them both. But the thing that you can do is just get used to the steepness. Because either way, you're going to leave ground effect at around 60 at, at VX. Either way. It's just either you climb out at VX or you climb out at VY. We doing a full uh, taxi back? Yep. George on tower, Archer 82554, left midfield downwind for full stop taxi back. Number 554, runway 18, clear to land. Number 2 behind, traffic short final, Tomahawk. Clear to land, traffic behind uh, Tomahawk, traffic inside 82554. Alright, same type of landing, right? Yep, short field. Land in the boxes. If you're not going to make the boxes, go around. Charlie, squawk 0613. Squawk 0613, 62 Charlie. Tomahawk 62 Charlie, squawk 0613. Squawk 0613, 62 Charlie. Tomahawk 2462 Charlie, left midfield, downwind, runway 18, touch and go. Tomahawk 62 Charlie, traffic Cherokee, one mile final, number two, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Following with the, the Cherokee, uh, clear to touch and go, runway 18, 62 Charlie. First on tower, 931 Golf, is that final fresh pick? 931 Golf, traffic Tomahawk, left base for touch and go, number 3, runway 18, clear to land. Number 3, runway 18, clear to land, 931 Golf. Okay, now we're a bit slower this time. We may have to use a little bit of power to keep it up, but it doesn't look like it. Keep us up, keep us up. There we go, now it's down. Flaps out. Power series, 228 Romeo Sierra, holding short 1-8, oh, ready to depart. Let's so go ahead and use brakes and get off. Cherokee 554, turn left, taxiway, Juliet, contact ground. Left on Juliet, contact ground. You can head, go ahead and just call him. And, all right. Church on ground, Archer 82554, clear runway 18 at Juliet, taxi back to runway 18. Archer 82554, Georgetown ground, taxi via Alpha. Alpha to 18, 82554.
Town Ground, Archer 3, HLA Tango is a pilot's choice with Sierra, IFR to Corpus Christi International, and I need a run up. Archer 3, Charlie Tango, Roger, uh, runway 18, taxi via Alpha 1. If you do run up between Alpha 1 and Alpha, and clearance on request. Get a run up between uh, Alpha 1 and Alpha, and uh, ready to copy. Oh, sorry, I heard you wrong. I'll wait for that request, Charlie Tango. Okay, so this time, remember, we're going to do a short, or not a short, a soft field takeoff, yeah. but uh, we're going to exit ground up. effect uh, yes. once we get into 60, or 65. 60. Yeah. 65. Cherokee 8, Charlie Tango is clear to the Corpus Christi Airport via radar vectors uh, direct, maintain. Contact departure 8, Romeo Sierra. Coming in, so I'm at 8, right? Uh, you, you can. Um, I used to do that, and then a tower once told a plane on downwind, oh, no, no, you don't have to extend downwind, he hasn't called yet. Go ahead and clear for touch and go. Okay. And then I had to call in. And All right, I'll call. But there's already two down there, so. Georgetown Tower, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 18. Calling on the tower, weak and then we will try again. Georgetown Tower, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 18. 554, that's still very weak. You might want to speak up a little bit or hold the mic a little bit closer to your mouth. Hold short, runway 18, landing traffic. Holding short, runway 18, 82554. 554, that is a hundred percent better. Good to know. Georgia Tower, Tomahawk 246 to Charlie, let me feel over one day, touch and go. I mean, yeah, you got Golf, turn left, runway 1-1, taxi and Mike to parking, monitor ground. Of 1-1, Mike to parking, monitor ground, 3-1 Golf. Tomahawk, uh, 6 2 Charlie, traffic Tomahawk, short final, Cherokee, holding short, it's going to take the runway for departure, priority arrival. Number uh, 2, runway 1 8, clear, touch and go. Number 2, runway 1 8, clear for touch and go. A short or a soft because they came in pretty high. Turning 554, Tomahawk on the runway to touch and go for left traffic. Tomahawk turning left base, touch and go. Fly left traffic, report midfield, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 82554. All right. Yep. Squeeze down here, though. A little stress because of that, but they'll do a go around, right? Yep. In this case. Yep. Keep that back pressure in a little bit. So keep keep that yep. nose here. Yeah. There we go. Almost up. Keep that nose up. There we go. Yeah. Nose down. Nose down. Yeah. Yeah. And climb out. Climb out. Yeah, we're barely in it now. Basically, we start, like, by yeah, the time that we're... Left. Yeah. Almost by the time that we're out of ground effect, we're basically out. So, that, that, that that's the thing with the soft field. You can see how you got it off early. Yeah. And you basically brought the nose down, and the second you brought your nose down, we went 65 and climb out. Right. That's the way that soft field is. That's why you can kind of, a lot of times, just kind of get away with just slowly getting out. But, uh, okay. yeah, that was good. That was real good. Better than the last one.
Then you got the Tomahawk in sight that we're following. Uh, Off your left, 9 o'clock. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, that's who we're following. Stop. Yep. Tomahawk 9451 Tango, Mr. Left Downwind, Tower, runway 18, clear touch and go. 18, clear touch and go, Georgetown Tower, Cessna 64971, holding short and 18, ready for departure for the pattern. 64971, Georgetown Tower, hold short and 18. Holding short, 18, 9071. Georgetown Tower, Archer 82554, left midfield downbound for full stop taxi back. 82554, Georgetown Tower, extend your downwind for departing traffic, I'll call the base. Extend it downwind, you call my base, 82554. Georgetown Tower, ADIS information, Tango, time 17500, weather, when calm, visibility 10, 2100 scattered, ceiling 2800 broken, 4800 overcast, temperature 17. Georgetown Tower, Tomahawk, 2462 Charlie, left, uh, downwind runway 18, touch and go. 2462 Charlie, Georgetown Tower, Roger, extend your downwind, you're still following that same PA 28, 12 o'clock, I'll call the bear. Extending downwind, runway 1862 Charlie. What? Let me call for weather. 554, base your discretion, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, turning base, 82554. November Tomahawk 2462 Charlie, number two, you fall on that PA 28 ahead, uh, turn in the base, uh, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Okay, so we've got. Oh, you're talking about these clouds out here? Um, no, just um, for the altimeter. Uh, turning base and clear for touch and go with 60 Charlie. It looks like we've got number a six, four, nine, seven, one. Fly runway heading, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Runway heading 18, clear for takeoff, 971. Uh, I was saying for the altimeter. Yeah. Because we've got some clouds out here that are around a few. Around a thousand. Yeah. I mean, I still want to fly. <laughs> You're in here. Georgetown Tower, Archer 38, Charlie Tango is holding short of runway 18. Too bad. Charlie Tango, Georgetown Tower, hold short of runway 18. Holding short of 18, Charlie Tango. Same type of landing? Yep. Now they're short field. Nine or seven one, you have the Tomahawk uh, heading to your left, turning uh, crosswind to, to uh, downwind. Affirmative, nine or seven one. Nine or seven one, you follow that traffic for left traffic. We'll follow the Tomahawk, nine or seven one. So yeah, that last little pull was just a little bit much. Yeah, okay. 82554, turn left to Juliet and uh, taxi back to runway 18, PL. Alpha. Left on Juliet. Oh. 
Tower, Tom Hawk 516, go midfield, downwind, runway 18, touch and go. Hawk 516, go Georgetown Tower, number two, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Clear, touch and go, 516, go. Just gave us back Alpha. He said Alpha, yeah. Back up. I didn't read it back because I was stressing about the break. Yeah, I got you, I got you. They started kind of shaking on us. A little shimmy dampener going. Okay, again, good, good, good. I want to see one more, and then after that, I mean, it's up to you if you want to keep going. Well, we need to go into uh, short fields after that, right? Uh, well, there's a, you mean short field takeoff? Yeah. I mean, you can, short field takeoff's pretty easy. I mean, you were able to do that uh, on the cross country, so I'm not worried about that. Because what, you did that, and you did a, uh, did we end up doing a soft field takeoff? Or soft field landing? Uh, we haven't done, well... We should practice. Georgetown that. Tower, latest information, Tango, time 17500, zero zero, weather, when calm, visibility 10, 2100. 971, report midfield east pass, your number two, runway 18, clear, touch and go, you're behind the tomahawk on the mile funnel. Temperature 17, dew point 14, altimeter 3009. RNAV GPS, runway 18, approach and use, bird advisor. That's what I wanted. Every time it's like someone, we're close. Yeah, we're pretty close. All right. And look at that slip. Oh, yeah. Bear keeps slipping. Still seems high. Oh, maybe not. All right, I know we started this late, so I'm going to go ahead and change the tanks. Okay. Safer to do it on the ground anyway. That is true. You're not in a rush, are you? No, no, no. I'm just thinking to see how much time we've been flying, how much time we've uh on the ground, or basically how much time we've got left. Yeah. I'm just, I just don't need, need to. Uh, I don't want to tower verify like 971 clear touch and go. Like this. this is like the one thing we need to practice. 971 runway 18 clear touch and go. Get off and do them on yourself because right clear now. Clear touch and go 18 971. You're not doing anything dangerously. You're not doing anything bad. Clear touch and go 18 971. Clear touch and go 18 971. That's basically why I want to see one more. Clear touch and go 18 971. I'll call the base for departing traffic. Clear touch and go 18 971. Because after you do this one, then uh. Yeah, like I said, it'd be up to you. Because if you if you can make this uh, this soft field look as good as the last one, then I don't have any other reason to be here. And uh, so far, you've made uh, all three of your uh, short fields. So if you make the next one, well, then again, it's kind of like even then. Well, what else are you gonna be doing? Yeah. And besides, cl climbing out, like with, for the short field, climbing out at 65 is the hard part. Three, Charlie Tango, Georgetown Tower, fly runway heading, runway 18, clear to take off. And, uh, heading, clear to take off, runway 18, Charlie Tango. Landing's real easy with a uh, soft field landing. Right. Eight two five five four Georgetown Tower. You can fly runway heading runway one eight. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway one eight. Fine head runway heading. Eight two five five four. Tom Hawk six two Charlie. Base your discretion runway one eight. Clear touch and go. Base uh, six two Charlie. Clear for touch and go. Six two Charlie. 
Five one Tango, you're going to be number two. You're following a Tomahawk on a two mile left base. Number one eight, clear touch and go. Number two, clear touch and go. Runway one eight, five one Tango. George Tassar, Archer two one one two. Call George Tassar, say again. It's Archer two one one two November. We're about two miles to the west of Axel, two thousand feet. Uh, we're just stay low and subtract the GPS approach. Uh, we have to thank them. We're going to do a VFR unless there's somebody else coming in on the approach now. One two November. I'm sorry, yep, but say again. Good. One through November, we're seven miles from Sealu on the approach, but we're we're flying at low VFR in case somebody's on the approach. If there's nobody's on the approach, we're just gonna stay VFR and come around the approach at two thousand feet. Three eight Charlie Tango, turn left heading one zero zero. One two zero Charlie Tango. Three two five five four. Your traffic to follow is off your left side on the downwind of Skyhawk. The traffic ahead is turning the eastbound, climbing at three thousand. Traffic and sight that I'm following, 82554. Traffic and sight in front of me as well. Traffic and sight, I'm okay. So he's going out, right? Yeah, he's going out to the east. He just told you traffic's following. 1 2 November Squawk 0626. Yeah. I guess he didn't tell you to follow the traffic, but he implied it. He only told you one way ahead. 0626, I guess okay. Well, he said the traffic's yep. following. Yeah. 3 Charlie Tango, contact off departure 119.0. Over to departure, HIV. 1 2 November. Uh, appears to be nobody uh, on the approach. Uh, report the final approach fix out there at 3008. 1 2 November. And we'll be lower than the altitude, but we'll just stay the approach. 971. You need to report midfield down when he's time. You're number three. You're following Tomahawk. Currently turning about a two mile final now. Um, 9 or 7 1, number three. Uh, sorry, I'm familiar with the area. I'm asking you to report midfield. I'm not asking you to look for the area. Uh, we're beaming the numbers, 971. No, you're about a mile northeast of the numbers, but you're number three. Your traffic coming off your left side now. <laughs> Grumpy Greg. That's not even Grumpy Greg. That's just... Number three, looking for traffic, 971. That's the dude from Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Who's just, I guess, uh... Traffic in sight, 971. He's not dealing with that. you follow that traffic. We're on 1-8, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 1-8, 971. Torch on Tower, Archer 82554, left midfield for uh, full stop, taxi back. 82554, Georgetown Tower, Roger. You're still following that same uh, Skyhawk runway 18 and clear to land. Traffic inside, I'll follow Skyhawk 82554, clear to land. Yeah, I see. Hey, Tower 51 Tango, request a full stop. Who's requesting a full stop? Uh, Tomahawk 51 Tango. 51 Tango, Roger, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, 185, Tango. Will this be a taxi back or terminate? Terminate, 5-1, take off. Roger. Five one Tango, turn left to Juliet. Where are you going to park? Uh, we're going to get some gas. Five one Tango. Five one Tango, Roger. Text to the fuel via Alpha Echo Monitor. Alpha Echo Monitor Ground. Five one Tango. Inside the box is a go around.
Just in power, Tomahawk 2462 Charlie, left hand wing, runway 18, touch and go. Uh, 2462 Charlie, your sound tower number 2, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Number 2, uh, clear for touch and go, 60 Charlie. There we go. Nice. Best one yet. Okay. It's up to you. If you want to keep going, we can keep going. If you want to... 32554, you turn left at Juliet, taxi back to runway 18 via Alpha, monitor ground. Juliet, Alpha, to runway 18, monitor ground. 8254. Okay. Um, I'd like to do one... Uh, short field takeoff and soft field landing? The opposite. Yep. And okay. If that looks good, we can call it. Okay. Sounds good, because, yeah, you got it exactly how I want it to look now. Yeah, that, that felt great, just focusing on that. Okay, I already got you on ground. Go ahead All and right. taxi back. Yeah, the, I mean, the wind's calm. Definitely the wind is help. calm, and that'll help, but at the same point, uh, just keep in mind that because the wind's calm, every time we've entered ground effect at around the numbers, we've been able to coast it. If yep. we have a headwind, a lot of times you won't be able to coast it, and that's where you may need a little bit of add a bit of power here or there to kind of keep yeah. you up. Yep. Um, but at the same point, it's a lot easier to do that, just to add a little bit of power than keep power in the whole time like you were doing uh, last time. Right. So I like this way much better. Because um, okay. you're touching down smoother. You're touching down uh, slower, and it's it's uh, more controlled. I like that. Very cool. Yeah, this is going to help my regular landings. Doing it, the, like it, it, it does. Like actually focusing on not just touching down, but touching yep. down a specific way, specific yeah. spot. Right. And in fact, a lot of times I'll do that toward the very end of uh, training, uh, not necessarily pre-solo, but like uh, sometimes they need something to do and it's like, well, we've hammered so many uh, landings, touch a little bit more with uh, some stuff here or there, and a lot of times that helps. Yep. So a short field takeoff, um, I don't pull back until I hit 64, yep. right? And then I just climb straight out, right? Yep. All right. Now, don't... But I use, I utilize the whole runway. All right. Yep. And 25 degree flaps. Yep. Biggest thing is uh, some people try to force it to stay on the ground till the X. Um, that's not necessarily bad, but at the same point, don't force it. Um, okay. I don't know if you've ever been on a plane where the uh, back wheels took uh, off first, two, three, three, but it feels yeah. very weird. Right. Churchtown Tower, Archer 82554, holding short runway 18. Number one two November Georgetown Tower and number two here follows Scott Hawk in the mile final runway one eight clear to land. One two November clear to land. One two November traffic will be departing prior to arrival. One two November. Three two five five four hold short runway one eight. Holding short runway one eight. Five, 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 five. <laughs> I stumbled on my words. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I always tell people the only time that you can say uh is when you're frantically looking around for the uh, plaque to know what your tail number is. Only, that's the only time you're allowed to say, uh. Yeah. Do you know what this is? I did at one point. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. The things you can do is up there. Now. Oh, yeah. It makes the tension more. Yeah. It's a friction lock. It's like now it's much easier to move it. Yep. Bring it way up here. Suddenly it gets a lot more stiff. Right. Will he ask me something like that? Yeah, no. Probably not. I'll just assume you know what it is. Alright. I mean, you know what this is? Right here? Is that tri a trim? Yep. It's rotor trim, left or right. Yeah. But we, you guys don't train us to use that, right? Yeah, not really, because you don't need to use it. Once it's kind of set. Alright, so one turn left, one takes way delta, contact ground. Left on delta, over to ground, nine or seven one. Three two five five four. Make left traffic. Port midfield down one runway one eight. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Port left midfield. Eight two five five four.
Joseph Flower, Thomas 246 to Charlie, left down wind, runway 18, a touch and go. 2462 Charlie Georgetown Tower. You're number two, you're following the uh, PA 28 on a mile and a half final runway 18, clear for the option. Number good, two, good. clear for the option, 62 Charlie. Okay. I can go to VY now, right? Yeah. In fact, once you once you get your 50 foot obstacle, you start pitching for VY. Pitch for VY. Take out the second notch. Take out the first notch. That's about it. All right. So now we're gonna do a soft field landing. Yep. And what's the uh, technique for soft field? Um. Full flap. Let's see. Do we have the traffic that? No, 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 the traffic before us was the full stop, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, full flaps. Full flaps. Um, I'm going to come in, keep the nose real light the entire time. Okay. Like, just hold the nose off as long as humanly possible. Okay. And even when taxiing, keep the nose light. Yep. And we're going to keep the flaps in the entire time while yep. we taxi. Basically, we're going to touch down, soft as possible, and do a wheelie. Yep. 2112 Tango, turn left on uh, runway 11. Where are you going to park? We need to go to the fuel pump. And one and two on November, Roger, you can taxi fuel via Lima Foxtrot and just monitor ground. We'll call 12 November. Short turn to our Archer A2554, left midfield, down men for full stop. A2554, Georgetown Tower, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 18, A2554.
Justin Tower, Tomahawk 246 to Charlie, uh, left and wind runway 18, touch and go. Now 246 to Charlie, Justin Tower, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Clear uh, for touch and go, runway 186 to Charlie. There you go. Keep that nose up, keep that nose up. Yep. Oh, it goes back even further. Yeah. Then. No break. Yep. Break 2554, turn left at uh, runway 11. One. Are you going to go back to 18? 11, uh, one, one, back to pilot choice. Can I break now? Yeah. No, turn left to 11 one, one contact ground. Left at 1 1, contacting ground, 82554. Okay, I'll go ahead and get your after landing checklist. Just go ahead and give them a call. Torch on ground, Archer 82554 on runway 1 1. I'd like to go back to pilot's choice. Eric 82554, Torch on ground, turn left on Lima, Foxtrot, terminal ramp, Alpha 1, and pilot's choice, more on the ground. Lima, terminal ramp, Foxtrot, terminal ramp, Alpha 1 to, to uh, pilot's choice, 82554. Okay, after landing, check complete. Get off the runway here, and no. I'll... So is that okay? Yep, that was perfect. And we're good to go. You can keep taxing. Oh, I can. All right, here you did yeah, it. Yeah, I got, I got your after landing check. After landing check is complete. Okay, so you feel good about all that? I feel really good. Today was a great day of flying. That's good. That is the goal. Definitely feel like a uh, safer pilot being able to do that. Yeah, do and it is a different, basically, like, uh, level of expertise when you're doing shorts and softs versus just normal landings. Right. Because, like, yeah. I mean, ideally, every landing you do is basically wants to be a soft field. Um, except, you know, you're going to be using a little bit of brakes or maybe not going to be keeping the nose up quite as much. But, yeah, also, um, yeah, keep that nose real because you touch down beautifully. But yep. then you just didn't have quite enough back pressure to keep that nose yeah, in the air. I thought I had it back all the way. I didn't realize I had another six inches to go. There you go. <laughs> well, hey, next time you can just kind of play around with that and see what you get. I mean, the big thing is don't tail strike. But at this point, I mean, tail strike is also pretty hard to do. You'll know yeah. if you tail strike. Yeah. It'll look bad. It'll feel bad. It'll all around just be a bad day. Yeah. Bad day for everyone. Beth included. <laughs> Okay, and I got the times in. Okay. So are you feeling pretty confident from my flying skills now? I mean, for the most part, like I said, last time you flew, your flying was good. It was just the procedure that was lacking. Yeah. And uh, this time, I mean, yeah, we're polishing this up. Uh, if your maneuvers went well, you mentioned that your ground, uh, your, uh, ground reference maneuvers went well last time. Yeah, they did. Um, which is good. But then, how'd the rest of everything go? Um, the stalls, so so. Okay. I mean, okay. They, they were hard and a little scary. I have to say, <laughs> this is the first time I've done because Jared never let me do stalls. Yeah. By myself, right? So that's the first time I've ever done a stall by myself. So, with that being said, I think the next time I go out, I think I'll be able to nail it. I was just a little nervous. So. Yeah, I mean, don't worry about it. These planes, I mean, you've never come close to a stall. Well, at least when I've flown with you, you haven't come anywhere near a stall. Yeah. Um, did we do turning stalls last time? No. Oh, is that something I'll be tested on? Uh, yeah. They're real simple, though. In fact, I mean, they sound scary, but once we do them, you'll be like, oh, this isn't bad at all. The turning stall could turn into a spin, right? Uh, yes and no. It's still not going to be cross-controlled, and it's not gonna be, you're still going to be coordinated. So it's not really going to happen, but technically it could. It's more likely to happen than just a straight. I'll give you that much. But at the same point, I also think it's easier whenever you're preparing for it. Because it's just a normal stall, but you put a five, uh, you know, 10 degree bank in, and you uh, don't have to worry about your heading anymore. Okay, uh, flaps attracted, electric fuel pump check off, uh, radios and all electrical off.